In subsequent videos, I have been able to show you how to find the Laplace transform of everything we have here. So this will be the last on um, this very proving before we look into the theorems of Laplace transform. So please correct me, is it Laplace or Laplace? Because I do not know which is which, but I call it Laplace. Now see, to evaluate this very guy, please I remember that I told you, you will try our best to rewrite them in terms of their exponential formats. Is there an expression somewhere that has exponential that can give me what? Cosh. Now please take note, cosh at is equal 1 over 2 bracket exponential at plus exponential minus at. Yes, that's what? That's cosh. So please take note, cosh at is equal to what? 1 over 2 exponential at plus exponential minus at. So that means this will then become the integral from 0 to infinity. What will my ft become? It will then become this guy, cosh at. But already, cosh at is equal to what? 1 over 2 exponential at plus exponential minus at. So bracket exponential minus st dt. What I simply did was to put everything into this very formula. So the only thing that changed is, is f of t and f of t is equal to what? Cosh at. So that's what we have. Now please remember, watch the first video on Laplace transform. Okay. So this will then become, can this 1 over 2 come outside? It's a constant. So 1 over 2 can come outside. So this 1 over 2 integral from 0 to infinity. What do I have here? Can I open the bracket? Yes, I can do that. I can open the bracket. So all this now become, this will become exponential at exponential minus st plus exponential minus at exponential minus st dt. So that's what I have. So if these are the things that I have, what will be the next thing I'm going to do? I'm going to try to evaluate these integrals. But first, let me simplify the exponential because they have the same base. So this is going to become 1 all over 2 integral from 0 to infinity of exponential. What will this become? Minus s minus a t plus exponential. What will this become? Minus s plus a t. Then put your dt. Now over the next thing I'm going to have, I'm going to evaluate this integral. So I'm going to be evaluating this part and this part because this is just a plus. So this will now become 1 all over 2, then open a bracket. I will then be having what? Exponential minus s minus a t all over minus s minus a. That's because if you differentiate this very numerator with respect to t, your answer is minus s minus a. That was why I divided by what? Minus s minus a. Go and learn how to differentiate exponentials. If this guy is a problem, the video is up there. Then plus, what would this then become? This will become exponential minus s plus a t divided by minus s plus a. Then what do I put next? I'm going to put my upper and lower limit, which is 0, towards infinity. So that's what I have. So if this is, okay, this guy is not straight. So if this is what I have, so this is 0 to infinity. So if this is what I have, can I now expand, expand sheet? Is there any word like expansible? I doubt. So can I evaluate that very um, integral? Yes, I can do that. What do I simply do? I'll make two brackets. In the first bracket, t, because they said dt. So t is going to become infinity in the first bracket. And in the second bracket, t is going to become what? Zero. So this will become 1 over 2 bracket exponential minus infinity divided by minus s minus a then plus exponential minus infinity divided by minus s plus a minus this is the first bracket this is the first bracket then for the second bracket anywhere i see t i'm going to put zero so this will become exponential 0 divided by minus s minus a then plus exponential 0 divided by minus s plus a okay i think i'm going to wipe this part okay 
So I hope you can see that clearly. So lock the bracket. So this will then become 1 all over 2 bracket 0 plus 0. I hope you know why it's 0. I've already told you that exponential to the negative infinity is going to give you 0. So this is 0 plus 0. Then minus, what does that give to you? 1 over minus s minus a in the bracket. In the bracket. Then plus 1 over minus, sorry, this is going to be in a the bracket. Then s plus a. So that's what I have. So lock this guy. So the next thing is let us remove the brackets. So this is going to become 1 all over 2. 0 plus 0 is 0. So this guy is gone. Now let us open this bracket. Minus times minus here will give me what? Plus. So this is just 1 over what? S minus a. Minus times plus will give me what? Minus. So this is 1. Okay. Look at this. Sorry. Sorry for that. Minus times this minus here will give me plus. So this is still a plus. Minus times this minus here will still give me a plus. Sorry. Then divided by what? S plus what? A. So that's what I have. Now the next thing is, can I simplify this by taking LCM? Yes. So this is 1 all over 2. The LCM of S minus A and S plus A will become S minus A bracket S plus A. So that's what I'm going to have. So, if everything here, everything here, divide it, everything here, divided by S minus A, what will be left? S plus A. S plus A times 1 will give us S plus A. Then, plus, I think I'm going to get new marker, plus, everything here, divided by S plus A, S plus A cancels S plus A, we're left with S minus A, times 1 is S minus A. So this will then become 1 over 2, open bracket, S plus S is what? 2S. So this is 2S, divided by, remember, A minus A is gone. What happens here? This is actually a difference of two squares. So this is S squared minus what? A squared. Can 2 cancel 2? Yes. What would then be remaining? This will become S over S squared minus A squared. So that's what I have there. So it means the Laplace transform, Laplace transform of cos AT is equal to S over S squared minus A squared. I think I'll rewrite that with a better marker. But look at this example. See this very example. Imagine if you're asked to find a Laplace transform of cos 5t. What will be the result of this? Now remember that Laplace transform of cos at is always going to give you s over s squared minus a squared. So the first thing you have to do is what is your a here? Compare these two things. We have at, this is 5t. So what's your a? a is what? 5. So this is going to become s over s squared minus what is a? a is 5. So what do you think a squared will become? 25. So this will be the answer for what? The Laplace transform of cos 5t. So with this very video, we're going to proceed to see more examples on Laplace transform. Thank you very much for subscribing to my channel. Share this very video to your friends. Bye.